Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Elizabeth Herrera and today I actually wanted to get ready because I'm going to be doing a couple of um, pictures like the back time theme if you see moving around that's because my kid is here with me. He has mommy problems today, eventually. So if you hear any kind of noise, that's his motor going on. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm actually gonna do, like I didn't wanna call it like a chola makeup look because it's actually kind of like my everyday look, but the photo themes are gonna be like a chola vibes, you know, like the old time vibes. And I mean, I already don't have eyebrows. Um, <laughs> I already don't have eyebrows and that's Jesus. Oh my god. Tim okay, so um today I'm gonna be filming a video like this, I guess. <laughs> ah! Okay. Sparkle. Ah! Yeah, I am a happy mother of like ten babies, so I love them all the same. Right? I love them. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, by the way, his paws are green. Well, her paws are green because I have a wall where my little sisters can um, write with chalk. And every time they see drawings on it, they decide to like swoosh all their hands on it. And some days they're pink, some days their hands are green, and some days they're orange or yellow or white. By the way, I'm sipping on some boba. Look at this. Yes. Mm. Am I the only one addicted to boba? Back to the video. Back to what I was saying. So that's why I haven't done my hair. I just washed it. So it has no product or it has no product or anything on it yet. I'm gonna do a little bit of what I do in my makeup. <laughs> I pulled my hair back and first thing I'm gonna do is my eyebrows now there's no trick to it my eyebrows are thin so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that if they let me do my eyebrows I think it's my fault I gave them too much love yeah I gave them too much love what do you see oh no Pirate cat again. Hey, I'm not trying to get demonetized over here. <laughs> I got a kitty problem. <laughs> Ow. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to moisturize. So a lot of people pronounce it different, Saravi, Sarave, but I'm going to be using this moisturizer. And by the way, my mirror is down here, so if I'm singing in the bottom down here, um, that's because my mirror is right there. I mean, I have one straight in the front as well, but um, that's covered up by all the lights. For the eyebrows, I do use the Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills Dip Brow in color chocolate. I think since usually back then they used to do like their eyebrows like really dark, I might use like a um, a black gel liner instead and maybe filling the front with this. So this is the gel liner I'm going to use. It's almost empty but it does a job. I'm going to use this Cara Beauty brush with this um, angle side and yeah, let's go ahead and get up close and personal. So we're gonna go ahead and start with my beat up Kat Von D palette right here. I know. <laughs> so uh, before I do my makeup, I always start with my Do You Too Face setting spray. I love putting setting spray before and after doing my makeup, especially when they smell delicious like this one, even though I don't like to eat the fruit, you know? So I go ahead and do the outline of the bottom of my lashes with that black gel line. and. 
yeah i already don't have liner um eyebrows but i am trying to make them as thin as possible usually when i do my eyebrows i do go a little bit thicker but um not today so i'm just gonna go ahead and add it all the way to the front i know it's gonna look weird because once i add that lighter brown shade and i have like see like two tones of brown it's okay because when i blend it in it looks a little bit natural to me, better than just having that black harsh line in the front of my brows. So I go ahead and conceal my brows with my collab. Y'all saw that pinky? Yeah. She said queen. So I only like to conceal the bottom part of my eyebrows. Just because if I start concealing the top and I add foundation or something else, well, to me, it doesn't blend good anymore. So I go ahead and add some more concealer around. That's just for the color to stick better and I'm gonna go ahead and blend that in with my sponge and set it down so my eyeshadow or my concealer won't crease up and I'm gonna go ahead and grab this shade right here with this little brush and that's just to give it a tiny brown color base here and I'm gonna go ahead and grab this a darker shade here with this more of a flat brush and we're just gonna darken up that brown closer to the crease without going too high and this is just gonna make it darker and we're gonna blend it in a little bit more now I'm gonna go in with this white right here now this we're just gonna put it all around this is not a tutorial you guys this is like my like my fast hurry hurry up pura ley que ya nos vamos kind of makeup because it's just something natural but it's not natural you know then I go in with my NYX matte eyeliner with this little tiny fine brush. Sorry, I can't do the pen kind. They kind of dry up on me. So I start with this tiny liner and I always do that because sometimes the thicker I go, the more my hooded eyes will cover up the eyeliner. So I try my best for it to work. That's why I keep looking up. So I can't go way too dramatic with this eyeliner because I also want to go in the simple kind of look but doing eyeliners on hooded eyes is just a work so I try to look up when I do my eyeliner just because sometimes I look down and my eyeliner looks kind of whoppy so I just make it look better when I look up and yeah oh look boba yeah then I'm gonna go in with my foundation and with that I'm gonna clean up my eyeliner just from the bottom to make it sharp you know Boop. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab my Milani lashes from Merave and also use her waterproof eyeliner and eyelash glue at the same time. Yeah, yeah, I know. I already did my eyeliner, but that's a matte liner and this one's kind of shiny. So, yeah. But look how good and how fast my eyelash, like, I can apply my eyelashes. Just look at that. Fabulous. And my face is red. We all know, people that know me know that my cheeks are like hella red. So I go ahead and cover that with my foundation, the one I showed y'all a few minutes ago. And I started to blend that in and um, I don't know, but I didn't like the coverage and I wanted to go harder. So I went off my VFX and I kind of liked that coverage a little bit better. But then I did not like how the brush was leaving streaks on my face. So I had to switch it up to my blender, my blender, my sponge instead and that kind of took away that problem and I'm gonna go ahead and also do my brows now, like the top part as y'all can see. I like to do that separately just because if I go on too close to it, I can actually erase my eyebrows. And of course, I'm gonna go ahead and add my concealer. Now, I add a little bit just because this concealer is like 10 times shade lighter, you know, but your girl got some heavy pillows under her eyes and they're like, they're there. We can all tell they're there. I can see them from here. Look how bad they are. Jesus Christ. Girl, you need some sleep. And I'm just gonna go ahead and set my makeup with my ear spun, my spun, and my bun. And I'm just gonna put it all over my face because I did wanna make this makeup last all day. You know, cover up that mustache, cover up that cheek. And then after waiting for a few minutes, I go ahead and dust all of that off because we're done baking. And I'm also gonna go ahead and grab my, my Milani bronzer that is like completely gone. I hit the pan, you know? Now, yeah, I kind of went on to bronze, but your girl want to look, look like she's been on the beach for like a year 
overboard, I know. Sorry. But anyways, I still grabbed this little cepillito right here. My mom calls it a cepillo, like a brush, like a hairbrush. And I went ahead and put all my face together and added a little bit of blush. Went in with some mascara just to make my lashes look natural because um, they look natural, but people can't tell, okay? They're real. Then we're gonna go ahead and draw some mustache, you know, to take out that macho inside of us. You know, we all got the macho man inside of us, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. So we're gonna go ahead and outline all of our lips with that brown. I just used a regular brown lip pencil. And I like to also darken up the corners just because it's gonna make it look better when I add that lighter shade of a lipstick and I try my best to darken that up then we're gonna go ahead and grab that light shade oops but don't worry people because I love to use my fingers to blend all of that in look look she said brush who brush what we don't need a brush we can just blend in with our finger look at that it came out amazing who is that woman beautiful and we're gonna go in with our opal um, highlighter and we're just gonna do that inner corner right there and our mustache of course because our mustache is everything for our Latina girls then we want to look like we've been doing a lot of things so we want to look so shiny like we just came out of the gym looking fabulous like we lost some pounds alrighty so this is how my makeup ended up so like I said it's it's just like a simple just brown kind of look um try my best on my lips as you can tell I have itty bitty little tiny lips so you know and I'm gonna do my hair probably gonna change I don't know what I'm gonna wear yet but we'll see so let me go ahead and do my hair and I'll be right back final look I went ahead and put my chula earrings on because that's what it says with like a little bamboo shape I got the chain my mom got me when I was like a baby it has my name on it and um, I went ahead and put a shirt on this is Latina on it so this is my shirt this is Latina that's it's the final look so don't forget to subscribe because why not like and also click on the bell to be notified when I upload a new video because I am starting to upload a little bit more. I know I say that a lot, but trust me. Don't trust me. Why would you trust me? No, I know. But I am going to try to upload new videos like at least once a week, trying my best. It's kind of hard, you know? Go ahead and comment down below in case if you have any ideas or something you want to see me do next. I hope everybody stay safe, stay protected from Ms. Rona. And have a great and amazing day. Love y'all. Bye.